Hello and welcome to Ecanic. Today we're going to talk about how to test the battery the proper way. A lot of people will tell you to test the battery with a voltmeter. You can check the voltage of the battery, but that does not tell you if the battery is good or not. It will tell you if the battery is dead, if it's completely discharged, but it does not tell you. A voltmeter is not going to tell you if you have a good battery. So I'm going to show you exactly. So here we have a car battery. I'm going to connect negative on the negative and positive over here and we're reading 12.5. Technically, you know, it's pretty good it's charged battery right um, and you think okay this is a good battery most people would a lot of tutorials out there tell you that this is a good battery but let's really check this battery and uh, figure out if it's really good so we're going to use this nifty little tool um, battery tester charging system tester by Ucanic and we're going to use that to test this battery all right so we're going to connect the the black clamp on the negative here and you can do this test on the car. Um, it's preferred to uh, do it out of the car or at least disconnect the negative terminal cable from the uh, negative post and then you can do it on the vehicle. And then over here, if you look at the scan tool, we have a few options, quick test, battery in vehicle, out of vehicle. So if you go in vehicle, then you can test the battery, you can test um, cranking test and charging test. So you can test your alternator but we're just focusing on the battery itself here okay so we're gonna do auto vehicle press enter and then regular flat AGM gel EFP so if you look at the top of the battery in this case it says uh, sulfuric acid if it's an AGM battery it'll say somewhere on it on the label it will say AGM um, lead acid or regular flooded battery they'll have those little holes where you fill with acid so most of the batteries are going to be most of the older batteries are regular flooded most of like 2015 2020 and newer cars have AGM battery um, but anyway here we have a regular flooded so we're going to select that and cold cranking amps all batteries are going to have this so you see cold cranking amps it's 760 if you look at the label so we're going to press enter here and then you can go up and down to change this to match whatever is shown in your battery. Now it's going to take a few seconds, about 20, 30 seconds at most. It's asking us is the temperature, the battery temperature, but it's really ambient temperature. Unless the battery was just removed from a car that was for some reason very hot from the engine bay. But most likely it's going to be above 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So press enter. And then let's take a look at this. Oh, look at that. Well, this battery was reading almost, you know, 12.6, 12.7 volts. But if you look at the health of the battery, 54%. Charge level is 80%. Uh, internal resist resistance. Let's just use to calculate this, some of these values. It's rated for 760 amp. It's putting out 558. This car, a four, uh, this battery will probably still crank during the summer. Uh, let's say a four-cylinder engine. A small engine, it'll probably be fine, but the winter comes, you, with this battery, even with a, if it's on a four-cylinder vehicle or uh, really if it's whatever car it's in, you're going to be stuck somewhere with this battery. Uh, this is, it's struggling to start the car now and it'll be a lot worse during the winter time. So this battery should be replaced. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.